Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at the SPY, the IWM, the Qs, the DIA, the IYT, the USO, the UUP, and the GLD. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly timeframes. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. So let's get right to the daily spider, 114 million on the day, almost with a half hour to go after our session. We are one cent up or a dollar 54 on the day. So it was 0.65%, uh, so not too shabby. Two days, nice rally. I, I thought one more day, guys, into gap fill, never made it, bounced right up. But the big thing that uh, caught my eye, we needed to close above this big red bar for the bullish guys out there. Never did. Close below the 20 MA as well. If it would have closed above there, a little more bullish. But overall, chop, chop, chop. Last couple months, up in the, uh, you know, ab above the 200, above the 50 MA. Came back in, went right back above. So bullish stance, but slightly bearish pattern starting to form, kind of like the IWM. So we got to keep an eye on that. Let's go to the weekly chart. Weekly chart, though, guys, nothing wrong. Above the MAs. Chopping around, pretty much up, down, up, down. Bullish pattern starting to form. Still above the 20, the 50, and the 200 as well. Nothing wrong with the uh, weekly chart. Volume wasn't bad, but it all came in on that one big sell day. So we got to watch for that. All the political stuff, guys, just be careful in your positions, especially if you are long. Let's go into the IWM. IWM volume not too bad today. It was uh, 44 million, so you got to say it picked up a little bit. And uh, no, actually, that's the day, weekly chart. Daily chart is going to say 44 million. Yeah, 44 million on the day, but daily chart a little bit less than the than the sell day. But again, bearish pattern came in, closed right on top of the trend line, guys. Now you know I could draw this in down or high, but I, I'd like to see you know right on top of it. So it's hard to say if it did or didn't. But this bearish pattern starting to play out. We're still below the 50 MA. Let's see if we continue sideways. Chopping around. Maybe we hold this trend line going into here. And let's see if we set up for the next downside. Kind of like this. Down, sideways, down, sideways, down. We'll watch for the 200 MA down in here in the, in the double bottom. But uh, right now, just chopping around. Nothing wrong. Uh, volume was a little bit uh, about the same as yesterday. But we're back below the 20 and the 50 still. So let's keep an eye on that. If you're bullish, you want to get back above. If you're bearish, you want to stay below here and just chop around. Setting up for the next downside. If you watch my videos, you know the up move, you know, 141.82, 145. This buy would be uh, 245 to 250. And then the down move, you know, we'll, we'll just keep an eye on this and see what happens. But right now, this is lagging a little bit, which should be leading. It's not. It's lagging. So that's keeping my attention, you know, on this uh, IWM. Volume not bad, though. So weekly chart. Let's take a look at that. Nothing wrong. We did close back below the 20 MA. We're on top of that trend line. So let's see if we just keep chopping around and see what happens. Right now, we close on the weekly basis. Let's see if they can pop it above. Keep, as long as they keep it above, guys, I mean, it's still a bullish stance. If we start sliding coming in here, this will be your big area. Actually, your gap fill right around 130 or so. You got to still have the pivot here around 132.51. I have to keep an eye on that. But we'll, we'll, gosh, still like the bullish pattern, guys. I mean, but at all time highs, let's see if this thing can giddy up. Again, all-time highs, trend line, and we'll go from there. So, weekly chart, nothing wrong. Did close below the 20 MA, though. Hughes. Hughes, not, you know, after after this grind up and grind up, let's go to the daily. See a little bit better. I mean, there was a grind up and then, boom, straight down. Now we have an inside bar, bearish pattern. Let's see. Big area for this one is the high of this bar, 138.77 or so. And then you have a gap to fill up here right around the 140 area. So let's see if this thing can start motoring again. You still above the MA, strong stance. But if this starts getting below the 20 MA and starts to slip, you're most likely going to fill this gap around here around 132.45. You have a couple other ones too, but uh, that's the big one with the gap fill right here. You got a gap fill here, here, here in this green candle. So you got a bunch of them, but this is the big one where it actually gapped up and kept going. So and remember, this was the all-time high. What did they do? They gap it up above the all-time high. goes. Then the volume just kind of, it wasn't bad, wasn't good. But then look at the volume on the cell candle. Boom. And then they try to get, they did close it above the 20. So that, you know, the technicians, some technicians out there, oh, it's still good. It's above the 20. But inside this bar, now let's see if we go in a chop channel. Or, you know, a little little bit more up and then come in. Or do we just come in on uh, Monday on some Donald Trump news? <laughs> so that's the wild card in this whole scenario, guys. So uh, just keep your stops in long or short. Just be aware of the news and then play it each and every day. Again, the volume wasn't too bad, 114 on the day.
You have to respect that, though. They pushed it up pretty good. All right, let's get to the DIA. Love this bullish pattern. Little choppy, little, you know, pull back up, pull back up, and then pops down. Gets back below the uh, 20 and the 50. Comes right back in. Closes barely above the 50 MA, but we're still below the 20. So still in a strong stance. Still going sideways. Up sideways is setting up for possible higher prices. This little pullback, though, kind of ruins the party. But if it neat wants to start uh, heading for the uh, double top here, right at 211.59, it's got to get you up, got to get above the 20, fill the gap, and then boom, we'll be back here. Again, this one, this one, honestly, 215, 220 in the trend line. But again, bullish pattern overall. But man, a little bit chopping around inside bar action. Let's see what happens with this next week. It's just news driven right now, guys. But, you know, DIA still doing okay. Still in a bullish shot uh, chop area. So watch for that. Again, heights 220. We come back in. If it starts coming in, honestly, I think we get this gap fill. And, and again, November. We haven't talked about the Trump. I still think we're going to the lows of November eventually uh, in the next month or so, maybe sooner. 178.75 for that one. And then, uh, you know, still though, 200, even number. You got great support down in here. You got the 200 MA. So it's not just going to go straight down unless something happens. But those are the areas to watch. Upside, you know, all time high. Not necessarily 222, 223, but you look at the 215 number too as well. All right, let's look at the IYT. All right, IYT again. This was the weak course. Came in, double bottom, kissed the 200 MA, boom, boom. Bounce. Today was weak though. I mean, we had that sell off today. It just couldn't really get going. It was still 0.73% up, but man, <clears throat> the other ones at least got to the top of the bar. This one did not. So let's keep this one in mind inside bar. Let's see if it chops around, or does it get above the 161.85 area and then come back up and fill the gap? That's a possible case, but it's got to get above this trend line, above this pivot. So right now, down sideways. And overall, remember, we talked about this pattern. Down sideways, chopping in a channel. Got above. It was like peekaboo. Look at me. Look at me. Buy me. Buy me. And then they slapped them. Little bearish, slapped them. Little bearish, slapped them. So let's see if this continues sideways, setting up for the next down wave. I'm still thinking 150s in the cards and possibly lower prices ahead. So you gotta watch out for this, guys. Watch out for the news. Put uh, Trump on your Twitter channel so you know what the heck he's tweeting. So, and uh, I laugh at that, but it's it's unfortunately it's true right now. So, all right. So the IYT lagging again. You gotta keep an eye on that, just like the IWM, but still above the 200. If we get back below the 200, then. Uh, the IYT is going to get a little bit interesting, or the Dow uh, transports. That's what this uh, is tied to. So, all right, let's go to the USO. USO, 22 cents up, guys. We talked about this bullish pattern. Up, sideways, slightly bullish. I'd like to see more consolidation for a stronger move. This could be a head fake. Again, bring us up into this area. Come on. 11.27, 11.50. Let's do this. Let's go. I'm still holding a, holding a quarter position up, unfortunately. And I should have took it off down in here, but uh, took off. I'm still in the money on it, but we had a great SEO trade coming in from this side, coming down. Comes back up in here, I'll start taking some SEO again. Trying to be patient on this one, guys. Um, the SEO, you know, it's a beast, and uh, you want to know what that one's doing. So right now, let's look at the SEO real quick. I'm going to pop in here. So we took it down in here around 33.80, say 34. Popped up, we started selling. Last time we sold, our position was right here, and then they capped it up. We could, have, we could have actually got it for another couple bucks, but you know what? From 34 to 41 or whatever it was, that's a great trade. We took it off, came right back in. So let's see on the SEO. Not that I should actually be doing this on this USO, but this is a little bit cleaner. Yeah, we're coming 750, 35 bucks. Gosh, if we could get back down into here somewhere, um, there's got to be a trend line here or into this trend line right, right there. That's going to be a big area. We could get into here somewhere. This is the time we're going to try start nibbling on the SEO. Maybe it comes down to 30, so go slow and steady. Might have to add, but uh, looking good so far. Being patient on this trade. Let's see if we can capture this one. Go back to the USO real quick. Yeah, USO, nothing wrong though, guys. A little bit of consolidation popping up. Could this have been the gap and then the crap here next week? We're going to have to see. But the dollar, uh, let me look at the dollar real quick. I, think, I believe it was up today. No, it was down today. So look at that. It's going. And that was yesterday that it was up. But look at that. 25 bucks, guys. We've been talking about that level for a while. Boom. Hits it on the money. Let's go back to the uh, USO real quick. 
The dollar down, USO up, so it got a little more help from the dollar down. It was disconnected yesterday as it was moving up, but we did come up into this high pivot. Let's see how it reacts. We'd still have oh, I would, oh, 11 bucks, 11.50 up in here. Come on, a couple more days of upside, and uh, we'll be taking oil short again. But the USO guys, nothing wrong. Let's look at the weekly chart real quick. Uh, let's open up that. Yeah, USO coming in, but you know, you're coming off these pivots, coming off that pivot low down in here. So, what can you say, guys? And then this was the big breakdown area. Remember, we talked about that. It got below and it was like, whoa, bring it back up. So, 11 bucks, guys. 11 bucks, 11.25, 12. Oh, if it gets to 12, you got a short totally. So, so let's see if we could get uh, a little more upside in this thing. Then we'll add some more shorts in this one. Uh, let's go to the UUP, which is the dollar. So, dang, down again. I, you know, I wasn't watching this one today. I mean, a little bit. I have it up there. But look at that, guys. Right to gap fill. Right to that one. I still think a couple more days. I still think we could get down to 24.33. If you get to 24, you have to go long in this one, especially down in this double bottom here. 23.97. So, so far so good. Waiting patiently on this one too. It was a bearish pattern. Popped up. A little bit bullish here, but it came right back in. Started to become bearish again and boom, boom. One day of consolidation after hitting this trend line. Went up. Came back. Hit the top trend line. Came right back in. Gap down. Boom. Right to 25.07, which we've been talking about this gap fill for a while. So, gosh, I, I want to see lower prices, guys. We talked about 24.80. There's a gap fill here. Gap fill there. But we might as, well, might as well try to wait for the 24.33 area. And that's a big double bottom. That's a big pivot there with a gap fill. And honestly, you can still go to 24 bucks. So let's see. Let's see if we can get another 50 cents out of this thing. I hate to short this thing because it is a little oversold coming here. But just let's see if we get down here. We'll go long in the dollar. Just, just Let's just wait for it. We're in a lot of trades right now. If we don't get this one, great. If it starts moving up on the gap fill here, then that's fine too. Let it go. Then it's going up without us, guys. But we have no position in the UUP right now. All right, let's look at the GLD. GLD, dollar down. Uh, guess what? Gold up, guys. So let's look at the, uh, this is the daily chart. We are holding the MAs once again. So looking good. So we closed at 1940 on the day. And uh, let's see if we keep consolidating sideways for the next move up, guys. So far, so good. We did have a nice pullback into this trend line. That trend line held it. 5-0 retrace, boom, right back up. Look what they did. We talked about this. They gapped it above resist. Why deal with the resistance when you just gap it above? Like the markets, guys. This is what these guys are doing. Gap it above. Who cares? And they hold it, hold it, hold it. Maybe 119 was the number. Maybe, you know, somewhere in here, 118. So they figured, ah, just get it up. Hold it for three days for the options. Possibly. Options X today. So this thing could uh, this could have burned a lot of people. Oh, man, 117. Great. We're doing great. And then boom, pops it up, holds it. It's like, oh, my gosh, they killed me. So not me. I didn't have a position. I'm just saying. All right, let's get into JNUG real quick. If I could do it right here, J-N-U-G. JNUG, again, if you bought down here, 14, you should be selling around 20. Don't be waiting. You got some sellers in here, so you got a little bit of a pullback, but still above the 20 MA, so not looking bad here. Let the thing, this thing consolidate. We had a little bit of profit taking, it looks like, and uh, let's look at the... Uh, G D X J that follows the J Nug as well. And again, nothing wrong, guys. So let's see if this can consolidate, which it has been for six days. As long as it chops, 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 this thing can start taking off again. If it does, if it's coming out of a bullish um pattern, I think it's gonna rip right through here and possibly go to this 38 area. So now I need to see more. And if it gets back, you know, I need to see more for the upside. So if it gets back below the 20 MA, this trend line. And it's most likely going to test double bottom down in here. So just make sure when you guys are in these trades, do not load the house. Slow and steady, like I always say, no more than 10% of your total portfolio in any position. These should be at maybe at the most half positions. You go options, 1% to 2%. Light positions, guys, in these type of markets. And what we're trying to do here right now with going short, don't load the boat. We're just trying to get a lot of trades out there one after another and try to make some money here at stockbookie.com. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. The GDX still fine above the 20 MA. Again, if it gets back below here in this trend line, then look out. We could possibly have lower prices. So, all right, guys, thanks again for watching my videos. Sign up at stockbookie.com. Thanks again. God bless. See you on the charts.